morning. Today we are going to simulate taking the Model Y to work and back. I've got to actually run and do a drop off way up north here of Asheville. It's 50 some odd miles. We'll do that today and drive back. Now the interesting thing, we're going to simulate commuting. As we drive north on the interstate, we run into all this traffic heading to Asheville this morning. Let's see how Autopilot handles the traffic. So let's go. What a nice day this morning. We had weather on the weekend and today it's clear and cool. Should be an awesome day. Got a hundred miles to go today here in the Model Y and we're gonna commute through traffic. found everybody. Of course we continue to stay on autopilot and have been. Autopilot's one of those things that's uh, invaluable in traffic. We're in stop and go traffic here now. You can set whatever speed you want but you will only go as fast as the car in front. It'll also stay in the lane when you're commuting like this in stop and go traffic as long as you've got autopilot engaged. It'll keep a distance between you and the car and as the car moves forward and stops and goes, you don't have touch pedals. That's the uh, beauty of autopilot. In my case, uh, you just uh, put your hand on the wheel, let it know you're there, and autopilot will take you through the worst of stop and go traffic. We continue to be in stop and go traffic. I don't have my foot anywhere near the pedals. And uh, the car will move forward following the car in front. It will stay in the lane. And all I do is just hold my hand on the wheel to let the car know that I'm still here and I'm still alert. I haven't fallen asleep. But you see, I'm not touching the pedals. Autopilot has been engaged since I got on the interstate, uh, I don't know, 15 miles ago, maybe 18 miles ago. And it'll drive in this stop and go traffic all day long so it works out pretty well usually in stop and go traffic I'll set the following distance to one invariably there will be somebody that uh, seems to want to get in front of you for whatever reason if you don't mind then put three or four it doesn't matter the good part is you're not having to drive the Tesla Autopilot will completely manage the car here and stop and go traffic. Now I'm not saying you can stop and read or whatever, 
but the good part is is uh, the car is uh, managed while you're doing whatever you're doing in the car what I always get a kick out of is um, people with uh, regular gas and diesel cars have to continually go between the accelerator and the brake accelerator and the brake because uh, without autopilot they uh, have to do that and can you imagine uh, half an hour of that that wear you out another reason why the Tesla autopilot is superior I'm going to go ahead and take the autopilot off and uh, let the big truck over here. Come on. There's some kind of conundrum up here on the right. I think somebody stopped or stalled or crashed or something. Okay, autopilot back on. There you go. So it will uh, drive right behind the big truck here now. Yeah, it looks like somebody died in an old beat up van. Okay, now back on autopilot. Just like that. We are back up to speed now, and uh, whatever construction speed is with everybody else here now, getting close. I think we've got, uh, I don't know, seven or eight miles to go. Here is a lane shift, and you can see autopilot takes it no trouble, even though it's uh, not conventional uh, marking, really. We're in some weird old lane here now, but autopilot's still on. We're now transitioning uh, over Interstate 40 here on 26. Traffic's thinned out quite a bit here now. Just about exit the interstate one here. One C on the right. So I'm going to go ahead and knock autopilot off until we get on the surface street here. It's quite a bit of uh, this way, that way down here at the bottom of this ramp here. I'm now in a 35 zone on autopilot. Autopilot works okay on side streets. Of course, it's really. Uh, uh, works best on a highway where you've got a long way to commute uh, but a lot of times if it's a long two-way I'll go ahead and set it up In on autopilot feet, and, turn right onto Meadow Road. and just drive along just about at my destination I'll be here about 10 minutes and drop off something pick up something and uh, head home Model Y looks awesome. Let's go home. We did our job and uh, dropped off our stuff. We're ready to go. That across the street is the entrance to the Biltmore Estate. It's kind of a cool place. And there is a white Model X. How cool is that? Yeah, we're on the way back through the construction area traffic but hopefully not as bad as it was on autopilot yeah this usually happens just as soon as you say something like yeah the traffic is uh, really good there we found it on autopilot in traffic as you can see It's the best thing in the whole world for traffic. A 
They're working on expanding the I-26 interstate here. And uh, they're supposed to take four years or some ridiculous thing. But most of the time there's hardly anybody working. So I don't know how they'll uh, get that done even at four years or whatever they said. I just wish they would uh, uh, try to get it done a little faster. One of the beauties of Tesla Autopilot, it does not require pre-mapped roads. Some of the systems coming out today are promoted to be totally hands-free. Well, that's only if they're pre-mapped, and there's very few of them considering how many roads there are. The Tesla Autopilot uses vision to drive, and you see we're on autopilot and uh, it navigated the construction zone. So what happens when you're driving along with a pre-mapped road and there's construction? Does the driver uh, have to take over? Does the car stop? What? That's the beauty of the Tesla autopilot using vision. You drive your car with just vision. Why can't the car drive with just vision? That's the whole premise. Pre-mapped roads is archaic and old. So I don't know what to say except that uh, I don't know if I would want something that is pre-mapped. As many roads as I drive all over the place, half of them or more of them, uh, probably the majority of them would be not pre-mapped. On autopilot, on a non-mapped road, using vision, in the Tesla Autopilot. Still on Autopilot and construction here. Going with the flow. We're finally out of construction here now. Heading eastbound on I-26. Salute a grade on autopilot. One of the things with autopilot, whatever speed you set, it will go exactly that speed up or down a hill. Autopilot is one of those things that just makes driving a pleasure in the Tesla. You use it all the time, it just drives just great. And again, it is a vision-based autopilot. It is not used pre-mapped roads. Its vision is excellent in all weather. I've had it in snow. I've had it in fog, rain. And it does a fantastic job in keeping you in the lane. And not only that, it monitors the other traffic uh, people, cars, trucks, and so on. And it uh, just does a fantastic job in navigating the world using vision only. Autopilot is an awesome system. It's been around since 2015 and only gotten better each year with software updates that come to you over the air. No taking your car anywhere. Also, Autopilot, being a vision system, actually looks at the road just like you do when you drive. And since you drive really well, Autopilot can also drive really well just using the same clues you use using your eyes to drive the car. If you like this video, click the like. Click the subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon to not miss any upcoming videos. If you'd like to buy yourself a Tesla, the referral link shown here at the bottom of the screen gets you 1,000 miles or 1,500 kilometers of free supercharging. That link will take you to Tesla where you can then order your car. Thank you very much for watching. I'll look for you again and take care.